Hello there and welcome back to the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Anais. I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua. Now, if you clicked on this video, you likely are either interested in generating S bombs, which you can do with Trivi, and or creating an attestation for your S bomb, or to learn more about attestations or cosine. Now, in this video, we're going to cover lots of these components. First of all, what is an attestation? Why would we want to create an attestation for our S bomb in the first place? Well, when we have a container image, that container image depends on multiple different packages, software components, and libraries, and other related artifacts, right? So the thing is, a lot of times we don't actually know what goes into a container image. Now, we can create an inventory list of everything that goes within by creating an SBOM. SBOM stands for Software Bills of Material. There are different formats. The main ones are CycloneDX and SPDX. Now, there are lots of other resources where you can learn more about that. However, once we have an SBOM, that inventory list of our container image or another artifact, such as a file system or similar, we can see everything that goes within that artifact, such as the container image. Now, the thing is that if we are using an SBOM that somebody else gives us, we have to trust them that that SBOM is actually correct and correctly related to the container image, right? And we have to trust them that the SBOM hasn't been modified. So there are lots of different questions that we need answers to before we can actually trust the SBOM, trust the container image, and would want to use a container image or other artifacts in production, right? And this is exactly where attestations can help us. So an attestation is basically an authenticated metadata of a software artifact or a collection of software artifacts. So it basically tells us that the SBOM in that case is correctly related to the container image and is by a trusted authority. Now this can be verified by the use of public-private key pairs. So basically, when I'm creating the attestation, I'm using a, my private key pair to say like, this is me, I'm creating this attestation, I'm signing it, this is correctly related, like this SBOM is correctly related to that container image, right? And then somebody else could verify with my public key uh, whether or not that is true by verifying the attestation. Now for that, they would obviously need my public key to verify that this is correctly related, this is by me, the signing authority, um, correctly generated. Uh, now let's dive into how we actually create those different components and more detail on where you can find more information on those different components. Okay, so first of all, all of the different commands that I'm going to be using, you can find them in the trivia documentation. So if you are on the repository, there's a link to the documentation, also a link below in the description. And then you will open up Trivi. You would want to go to the latest Trivi version. Um, click on the docs section and scroll down. Here you will find an overview of how to generate S-bombs with Trivi and then how to generate as an attestation on that S-bomb with Cosine, and that's exactly what we're going to do now. Now, what is OCI? What does it stand for? And how can we verify those images and artifacts? Well, containers in the cloud native space follow the Open Container Initiative framework, which is basically a governance structure that creates an industry-wide standard for container formats. So basically, with OCI images, um, we can make sure that all of our container image follow a similar standard and everything that we're uploading, for example, to a container registry is following a particular standard, which is a really amazing initiative and makes it a lot easier to use any container registry for your container images. Now, part of Cosine, and we're going to use Cosine for this in combination with Trivi, um, is that it can uh, con sign container images, verify container images, and store them in an OCI registry. And that's why it's important why you know what an OCI stands for, right? Um, <laughs> now, Cosine uses a attestation framework called Intoto under the hood. Now, Intoto uh, basically is the presented authentication metadata of the software artifact, basically the attestation in itself. And frameworks for attestations, such as Intoto, are meant to be consumed by automated policy engines. It's not meant to be consumed by you as an individual. Like You're not supposed to identify whether or not an attestation is correct and similar, right? Um, yeah, but... In Toto is one of them, and then binary of authorization is another one. Um, and that's basically used by Cosine as well. Now you can find 
in the sixth storm documentation you can find all of the information related to cosine cosine is part of six store um, and um, you can find also more information on in totem um, cosine has built-in support for in total attestations and we're going to use that as well within Trivi. So Trivi is utilizing basically uh, cosine and in total under the hood when well when we run the cosine command. Um, <laughs> now how can you install cosine? Going back to the cosine documentation you can find installation and there are lots of different installation options depending on what you feel more comfortable with and depending on your operating system. So you can find all of the information here. So first off we need a container image. Ideally you would want to use a container image on your own container registry that you're connected to. There's a um, no upload flag that you can use in combination with Cosine if you just want to verify and create an attestation of a local image and not upload the attestation to your container registry. So you need a container image and then you can use the Trivi image command to generate an SBOM for your container image. So in this case, what we basically say is that we're using the artifact or like a, of a container image. Then we want to use the format for our SBOM of SPDX. Another one is CycloneDX and we can also use SPDX JSON with Trivi. Now the output should be stored in SPDX um, SBOM file. And here is the name of our container image. So we're just going to use this command. And now we have that in this repository, we have our SBOM. Now I'm just going to look at it. This is how it looks like. Um, our SBOM, you can find in a previous tutorial more information how to generate SBOMs with Trivi. There are lots of different options and ways to go about it. So do check it out if you're curious and new to SBOMs. Now, once we have that, we need to have Cosine installed. So make sure you have Cosine installed. Um, you can find the different options of Cosine. Now, once we have Cosine, we need to generate a key pair. And again, there are lots of different options to generate a key pair. You can, when you look for Cosine generate key pair dash dash help, you will find all of the different options. Uh, you can generate key pair in a Secure Azure Vault, uh, AWS KMS, Google Cloud, HashiCorp Vault. They are given you the secret. You can store the key pair there as well. Now, for the sake of simplicity, we are just going to um, generate the key pair right here. So generate key pair and then it will ask you for a password. Now, this password will be used every time you generate an attestation with Cosine. So I'm just going to give it simple password and then I have my public private key pair stored here. Now don't give the dot key file to anybody because that basically is your method of verifying that of generating attestations to public key is a method of verifying that attestations are correctly generated by you. Uh, so once we have that we can generate our first attestation with cosine. So the command for that is cosine attest. Then you provide your key dot key file wherever that may be stored. Then the type for the attestation is spdx. We have to provide a predicate spdx dot sbom dot spdx which is basically our sbom file. Now if your sbom file is stored somewhere else please provide the filing the path to the file right here and then we're going to provide a container image for which we generated the sbom. Now just go ahead hit enter and then provide the key that we just put in. Um, now this will upload the attestation to the container registry um, that I've specified right right here. Now once I have the attestation I can go ahead and verify it as well with Cosine. Verify that this is indeed um, my attestation. Now I have to specify that the type for it is SPDX. If you used a Cyclone DX um, SBOM and then specified here type Cyclone DX, um, then also specify here Cyclone DX. So if your SBOM is Cyclone DX instead of SPDX, please do specify that. Now we're going to verify that the attestation is indeed correct with our public key pair. Go 
going to go ahead and we're going to be provided with the attestation. Now, this is obviously rubbish to the human eye, um, but it's not meant to be consumed by you, but by um, automated policy engines such as in Toto. Now, if you don't want to use a public private key pair, you can also find in the Trivi S bomb attestation documentation that I showed you at the beginning a way for keyless signing. And this is done with the OpenID Connect protocol. So you could use, for example, Google, GitHub, Microsoft um, to verify your attestations instead. There are also different examples on how you can use um, an S bomb that's in a Cyclone DX format and then create and verify an attestation for that as well. Now, like always, I hope this video was useful. All of the links, all of the resources, everything that I used are linked below in the description. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, thoughts, ideas, please comment them below as well. We would love to hear from you. It would mean a lot to us if you could give Trivi a star on GitHub. If you like Trivi, give it a star. And, <laughs> and also uh, give this video a like, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you really enjoyed this video and our content and you would like to stay up to date with future Future videos, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. It doesn't cost a thing. We would love to welcome you in one of our future videos. We also have regular live streams. I hope to see you in one of those. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.